comes from foreign lands and people from his book series Kindred Sainer. Now this is a particular set of pieces that is very close to my heart. I think they are some of the most beautiful pieces and they are real miniatures and there is not a single note that is redundant in any of the pieces at all. So today I'm just going to talk a little bit about the historical background behind the pieces and just take you through a little bit about Robert Schumann himself. So Schumann wrote, composed uh, Kindersenen in 1838 and this was at the time when he was deeply in love with Clara Wieck, who later became Clara Schumann, indeed his wife. Now, she was the daughter of Frederick Wieck, who is commonly known as one, pretty much the first piano teacher. And Frederick um, saw in his very young daughter that she was really quite good at the piano. That's a bit of a statement, that is. She was actually very good. She was a prodigy, basically, at the piano. And he poured all his energy and all his money, really, into creating this wonderful pianist who was Clara Schumann, who eventually became Clara Schumann. Robert Schumann went to study with Frederick because he was the foremost piano teacher. And he was quite a bit older than Clara. And for many years, she regarded him, I think, as his big as her big brother, and he regarded her as his sister, if you like. Um, but gradually over time, and as she got older and older, <clears throat> those feelings began to change, and they began to deepen into love, a deep love for each other. Now, when Frederick found out that actually they wanted to get married, he was absolutely horrified and he, um, he forbid, forbid it. Um, so Clara and Robert, so deep was their love for each other, and this is when she was 18, 19, something like that, that they took him to court over this. And they actually, the judge actually ruled in their favour and said, yes, you can marry. Now, when Clara was 21, she could have, she had freedom to marry who she liked, but before the age of 21, before reaching her 21st birthday, the, the permission had to be given of her father or of the court. And they actually got married the day before her 21st birthday, which makes me think there was really quite a lot of that bad feeling maybe going on there. So this deep love that Clara and Robert had for each other was expressed in their music quite often. And in Kindertainment, it was at that point where it was before they got married, the love was there and he was writing music and sending it to her. And she just couldn't believe that this hero of hers really was writing music um, just for her. There was a beautiful quote at the beginning of um, one of the editions that I've got, and um, Clara Wieck writes back to Robert Schumann once he sent her the Kindersehnen and says, but ah, how indescribably beautiful are your Kindersehnen. If only I could kiss you. I thought yesterday and am still thinking today, can it be true that the poet who is speaking here shall be mine? Is not such happiness too great? Ah, oh, I can't put it into words. My delight increases each time I play them. So wonderful, so wonderful to have this set of pieces written for you. And she's clearly quite overwhelmed by it. But of course, Clara was also uh, quite a, a composer as well. So they would often go backwards and forwards writing pieces for each other one person inspiring the other person to actually compose a new piece or re reply in some form or other. So the, the, the stories behind this are absolutely fascinating and as you, if you continue and watch this four part series, the next three parts will be coming out in subsequent weeks and eventually you'll have all four there on YouTube. You'll hear actually how they refer to each other in the musical. Robert refers to Clara in that very piece I've just played you. So, a little bit
bit of historical background about Kindred Sane and Robert Schumann's Opus 15. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for listening.